President Yoweri Museven opened the second sitting of the first session of the fourth East African Legislative Assembly sitting in Kampala on Tuesday. The assembly brings together 54 representatives from the six member states of Uganda, Kenya, Tanzania, Burundi, Rwanda and South Sudan. In his speech, Museven urged legislators to work towards the integration of the region instead of fighting for political positions within the assembly. And when I hear you calling about positions, I feel so sorry. These people, they are calling about positions. It's not about, uh, about you people, it's about your people, the one you represent. Museveni's remarks come on the heels of a disagreement among members of Rwanda, Burundi and Tanzania over the election of the Assembly's Speaker. Both Tanzania and Burundi boycotted the elections, which saw Rwanda's Martin Ngoga elected and opposed as the Assembly's new Speaker on a five-year term. In the same sitting, the President praised America's President Donald Trump for speaking the truth about African countries. Museven says African leaders must learn that they have to find solutions for their own problems. Mr. Trump, I love Trump. <laughs> I love Trump because he tells Africans, frankly. Museven further emphasized the need for the assembly to legislate towards ensuring international market for East African products and the protection of the environment. We negotiate with them. It is very, very important that we negotiate as East Africa. Because if we are tempted to go alone, alone, in the end, those people will never attend much to us. There has been crop failure in some instances. Uh, thousands of cattle have died, especially in the Horn of Africa. This has uh, made the food prices very high and left a number of populations struggling to survive. During our tenure, the Assembly shall collaborate with all stakeholders to solidify integration and give East Africans the cherished benefits that the integration offers. The assembly will sit in Kampala for three weeks. Habad Ziwa, NTV at Parliament.